हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टू हैव सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द 10 पाउंड ब्लॉक हैज अ स्पीड ऑफ 4 फीट पर सेकंड व्हेन द फोर्स एफ इक्वल्स टू 8 t स्क्वायर पाउंड इज अप्लाइड डिटरमाइन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द ब्लॉक व्हेन t इक्वल्स टू 2 सेकंड the coefficient of kinetic friction at the surface mu k is 0.2 the force is given as a function of time right and it is said that uh, initially the block is moving with a velocity of 4 feet per second and we are required to find the velocity the final velocity at t equals to 2 seconds right so now if we consider the forces on this block so this surface will apply the normal force on this block in the upward direction right so this will be the normal force of the surface the weight of the block will be acting downwards vertically downward and the weight is 10 pounds right and there is a friction force so if the force is applied in this direction then the friction force will oppose that external applied force right so this will be mu k times n and mu k is 0.2 right so we can say that the friction force is 0.2 times the normal force so now if we apply the equation of motion that is if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y right and this is our positive x and y direction and this is the positive acceleration direction right so now as we can see that the block is only moving along x so there is no motion along y so this means that ay is equal to 0 so if we apply the summation of forces along y then as we can see that this normal force is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write n minus this weight which is 10 pounds so this will be equal to 0 since ay is equal to 0 and from this we get that the normal force will be equal to the weight of the block which is 10 pounds now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so now as we can see that this force f is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write it as 8 t square minus this friction force This is 0.2 times n, and n is 10 pounds, and this will be equal to the mass of the block. So the mass of the block is 10 divided by 32.2 into a x. So now we can, if I multiply both sides of the equation by this 32.2 divided by 10, right? So this will be cancelled out, right? So we can write this equation is. uh 32.2 divided by 10 into 80 square minus 0.2 into 10 will become 2 and this will become 0 right if we multiply it with the so this will be cancel out and we will be left with only ax right so we will have the equation for ax like this right so, and 32.2 divided by 10 will be 3.22 this is 3.22 and if i multiply this so 8 into 3.22 is 25.76 so 25.76t square minus 3.22 into 2 is 6.44 equal to ax or we can say that ax is equal to this function right now we need to determine the velocity right so we can write that this ax will be equal to dv by dt and if i multiply both sides by dt so we will have dv equals to this thing right so now we can integrate this so we can integrate it as dv this is 25.76t square minus 6.44 dt 
and now we need to integrate this from the initial velocity to final velocity and this is from 0 to t right so now if we integrate this so this will be cancelled out and we will be left with v from 4 to v and this will be 25.76 t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 6.44 t and this will be from 0 to t right so this will give us v minus 4 and 25.76 divided by 3 gives us 8.587 8.587 t raised to the power 3 minus 6.44 t and if I add 4 to both sides of the equation so we will have v equals to this function right so now we have v as a function of time right so now we are required to find the velocity after t equals to 2 seconds so now if i put t equals to 2 seconds in this equation so we will get the velocity so v equals to so we need to i am going to put it directly in calculator right so this is 8.587 into 2 to the power 3 a minus 6.44 into 2 plus 4 so this gives me 59.816 feet per second velocity so after t equals to 2 second the velocity will be 59.816 so this is the solution of this particular problem now in the next problem it is said that again that same block moving with that same velocity with the same force and it is said that determine the velocity of the block when it moves 30 feet distance right so now we have to find the velocity after s equals to 30 feet when it travels a 30 feet distance right so now we have this velocity as a function of time let me write the solution of that 13.6 uh, problem is v equals to 59.816 feet per second now we have the velocity as a function of time and now we need to find the position equation as a function of time right so now we can write this velocity as ds by dt so this will be ds by dt and if i multiply both sides by dt so we will have the equation like this and now we can integrate this right so now this will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t so now if i integrate this so we will have s from 0 to s and this will be 8.587 t raised to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 6.44 t square divided by 2 plus 4 t so this will give us s minus 0 and 8.587 divided by 4 gives us 2.146 2.146 t raised to power 4 minus 3.22 t square plus 4 t right so now <clears throat> if we put s equals to 30 feet in this equation so then then we will have the equation like this right so this will be this is the equation of s and if we put s equals to 30 so after uh, the block travels 30 feet so this equation will give us that time right so this will be 2.146 t raised to the power 4 minus 3.22 t square plus 40 and if i bring this to the other side of equation so this will become minus 30 equals to 0 right so we have a polynomial of degree 4 right so now we have uh, several methods to solve this to find the solution of this equation but uh, what i will do is that i will use the graphical method to find the solution of this right so it will have four roots it will have four t values but we will accept that value of t which will be positive right 
so now if we plot this graph so it will look like this right let me show it to you this is if we write that equation in terms of y of x right so y will be equal to 2.146 x to the power 4 so in place of t i am writing x right the rest of the equation remains the same so this is that equation right and now if we plot it so we are having two real solution and two imaginary solutions right so one solution is minus 2.25 so time cannot be negative and one other solution is 2.009 right so we will accept this value right when y is equal to 0 we have this solution which is 2.009 right so we can say that the the time the block takes to cover s equals to 30 feet is 2.009 seconds right so now if i put this t equals to 2.009 in this velocity equation right this is that velocity equation right that we have just integrated right so now we can write that the velocity will be equal to 8.587 t raised to the power 3 minus 6.44 t plus 4 right so i will put it directly this is 8.587 2.009 to the power 4 to the power 3 minus 6.44 into 2.009 plus 4 so now the velocity is 60.69 feet per second So this is the solution of the second part if the block travels uh, 30 feet distance so it will take 2.009 second and with that it will have the velocity of uh, 60.69 feet per second so this is the solution of these two problems i hope you people would have understood this solution